Welcome to this training presentation for the 380, 580, and 880 series control panel mounting kits. Today we will be talking about the control panel mounting kits for the ABB all compatible drives. We will start by providing you with some general information. Then we're going to be bringing you information about each of the DPMP mounting panel kits. We will continue the presentation by talking about the CDPI-01 bus panel adapter. Then we're going to go over some frequently asked questions and we'll finish the presentation by talking about documentation. General information. The first thing you may want to know is what drives work with these control panel holders. Here is the list. ACS 380, ACS 580, ACH 580, ACQ 580, ACS 880, and DCS 880. The next thing you may want to know is what control panels these control panel holders work with. Here is that list. The first type is the assistant control panel for the 380 and 580 drives. In the industrial world, that is the ACS APS. In the HVAC and water worlds, that is the ACH APH. The next type is the basic control panel, also known as the ACS BPS. And then we have the assistant control panel for the 880 called the ACS API. Then the Bluetooth control panels, For industrial, it is the ACS APW. For HVAC and water, it is ACH APW. There are a variety of control panel holders available that can be used to mount the control panel to the cabinet door. They vary depending upon your need. What works best for you depends on what you want to achieve. We are going to look at each type to give you an understanding of the benefits of each. Control Panel Kit Details The first type is the DPMP-01 EMC Shielded Panel Holder. The main benefit is the EMC shielding it provides. This is a flush mounted panel holder, meaning the front of the panel is relatively flush with the front of the cabinet. This requires a larger opening in the door, in this case 4.29 by 8.78 inches. It brings UL Type 12 IP54 integrity with the control panel in place. The overall dimensions are 10.2 inches high by 4.85 inches wide. The unique features are its EMC shielding and the large ABB logo. It includes a CAT5 cable. The next type is a DPMP02 and 03 surface mounted panel holder. The main benefit is the ease of installation and the small dimensions. This is a surface mounted panel holder, meaning the back of the panel holder is on the surface of the cabinet. This requires a smaller opening, only a 7 8 inch diameter hole is required. It has type 12 IP65 integrity. The overall dimensions are 5.98 inches high by 3.38 inches wide. It has a few unique features including the availability of a version the DPMP-EXT that includes the CDPI-01 panel bus adapter for the 580 drives. The DPMP-03 version is not available as a standalone kit. It's included with the 580-04, R10, and R11 drives. The next type is the DPMP-04 and 05 outdoor duty panel holders. The main benefit is its UL Type 4X IP66 integrity that allows it to be used indoors and outdoors. This too is a surface mounted panel holder. It requires a 1 inch diameter hole for installation. The overall dimensions are 6.92 inches high by 4.17 inches wide. In addition to the 4X IP66 duty, it also has IK07 impact protection. Its unique features include the ease of mounting and that it can be secured with a padlock. A CAT5 cable is included with the DPMP-04 kit. The DPMP-05 kit is only used for 580 drives frames R6 through R9 
because it has a cable that works exclusively with those drives. Our next kit is the DPMP 06 and 07 flush mounted panel holder. The main benefit is the ability to flush mount this holder. Because of that, a larger rectangular opening is required, measuring 6.3 by 3.19 inches. It has UL Type 12 integrity. The overall dimensions are 7.17 inches high by 3.78 inches wide. Like the 0203 kits, this too has the EXT version, the DPMP-06-EXT, which includes the CDPI-01 bus panel adapter used with 580 drives. One unique feature is that it includes a cable that has a connector that snaps into the back of the holder, making removal and replacement of the control panel very easy. Another nice feature is that it has versions with branding logos for water, HVAC, and irrigation. The 06 version can be used with any drive. The 07 version is exclusively for use with the 580 R6 through R9 drives. Our last type is the DPMP 08 and 09 washdown duty panel holders. The main benefit is its ability to be used in a washdown environment and is especially well suited for food and beverage applications. This is a surface mounted kit. It requires a 1.5 inch diameter hole. It has UL type 4X IP69 integrity, is washdown rated, and is NSF 169 certified in splash zones for food and beverage applications. It is for indoor use only. The overall dimensions are 7.1 inches high by 4.88 inches wide. The unique features are similar to the 0607 holders. It has an available EXT version with the panel bus adapter. The DPMP09 version is only for use with the 580 drives frames R6 through R9, and it has branding logos for water, HVAC, and irrigation. CDPI01 bus panel adapter for ACS, ACH, and ACQ 580 drives. In this presentation, we've talked a few times about the CDPI-01 panel bus adapter for the 580 drives. Let's take a closer look at what it is. This is what looks like a dummy control panel that gets installed in the normal place of the control panel on the front of the base drive. Its purpose is to allow a control panel holder, like any of the holders we talked about, to connect to the 580 drive. It is also used for connecting multiple drives together using panel bus. It features two RJ45 connectors, a power LED, and a fault LED. It is only used on the 580 drives. Then the next question is, when is it needed? It is always required for 580 drives S, H, and Q frames R1 through R5. It is recommended for R6 through R9 as well, just for simplicity. It is not needed for 380 or 880 drives. You might also be wondering why it's required. The control panel cradle in the 580 base drive has a male RJ45 plug that normally connects to the back of the control panel. The standard RJ45 cable is also male. On 580 R1 through R5 drives, no other port is available. That means this adapter is needed to provide a port for the control panel holder cable to plug into. On 580 R6 through R9 drives, a port that accepts an 8-pin straight connector is available, so CDPI-01 is not required, but can still be used for commonality across the frame sizes. Frequently Asked Questions and Documentation Now we are going to look at some questions you might have about the control panel holders. First, do the panel holder kits include the control panel? No, they do not. That allows the user to select the control panel that they prefer to use with the selected drive. Next, do the panel holder kits include the CDPI-01 panel bus adapter? Some do as indicated by the EXT suffix. That includes the DPMP-EXT, which includes the DPMP-02 holder, and the DPMP-06 and DPMP-08-EXT, 
in the QH and IRR configurations. Then, what is the CDUM-01? This is what we commonly call a dummy control panel. It is a blank panel cover which fits in place of the control panel. Next, we are going to look at what cables are included in the kits. Note that for each kit, a 3 meter cable is included, but the cable ends are different depending on the kit. The chart on this page shows the differences. The main point is that DPMP 05, 07, and 09 have an 8 pin straight connector that only works with the 580 drives frames R6 through R9. This is spelled out more clearly in this table, which shows what drives are compatible with each kit. Again, we want to emphasize the point that the panel holder kits with the asterisk can be used with all drives, but with the 580s, the CDPI-01 panel bus adapter is required. Next, let's look at what documentation is available. For each type of panel holder and for the CDPI-01 panel bus adapter, an installation guide is available. The part number for the installation guide is shown in this table. This table also reminds us of the protection class for each kit, whether it be type 12 or 4X, IP54, 65, 66 outdoor, or 69 indoor. We also show the part number for the Assistant Control Panel User Guide. All of the documents are available in ABB Library, which can be accessed using this QR code. Finally, we want to provide you with a summary of the control panel holders. You can see in this table the feature that makes each kit most unique. We also show the protection class, and we show the list of compatible drives. The kits in red are recommended for all 380 drives and 580 and 880, 01, 31, and 34 drives. Last, we have one more reminder of when the CDPI-01 panel bus adapter is required. We would like to thank you for your attention during this presentation. We hope with this training you will see all the benefits the control panel holder kits can provide to your installations of the ABB all compatible drives.